Hi guys, I am going to show you in this video how to edit our brand board template using Canva online. So uh, just follow along with me here and I will just kind of talk you through as I do this. So this is our brand board template that is um, free and you can use this. We'll come back to this. First, I'm going to go into the Canva website, just canva.com. I do have a paid version of Canva, but you can use Canva, Canva for free, um, just depending on how you want to use it. So they have all of these really cute um, different templates. It's about Easter time right now, so there's all these Easter templates. But um, there are infographics, there's all sorts of other types of temp templates. Um, stuff for social media, stories, posts, quote blocks, whatever that you need. There are super cute, awesome templates in the Canva platform that you can use for free. So the best part about upgrading your Canva and paying for it is that you get to use their brand kit feature, which um, allows you to upload your own um, fonts and logos and colors to have on hand to modify your templates. So this is, um, these are all of our fonts that we have uploaded so we can use our custom fonts um, to edit the templates. Uh, otherwise you are stuck using whatever fonts they have on, on the Canva platform. So, um, that is why I, you know, I do think that it is worth upgrading if you think that you're going to use this often. If you are not going to use it often, you can do a 30-day free trial of uh, the Canva upgrade, um, or you could um, just uh, work work around it and just upload things as is, as images. And I'm I'm going to show you the way around that. To go to our this branding board template, bits.ly backslash, or I guess forward slash, amper brand. That's amper brand, not amper sand. Amper brand Canva. And that will bring you to this page. Okay, so that's where we were before. You're going to go to use template. And that will make a copy of the template. And so you can rename it to whatever you want. So I'm going to name this ampersand branding board. Okay. So then you it leaves it open for you to make changes. See how now I can everything is highlighted so I can make changes as I like. Up here I've got our logo. If you only have one logo form, you can put it up there or you can move it to the side and make room for multiple logo versions. You can also um, add a page and continue this on. This is just really the bare minimum basics of what you need to have on a brand board. Um, and I, I know a lot of people don't have all the extra stuff. So uh, that's up to you if you want to add on more pages. You can add um, paragraphs of text whatever you want, just click add page and then you can um, play around with the text and elements here. So, and so see how it already, it remembers who I am and it remembers our text that we have in our brand guide that's already in Canva. So that is pretty awesome because it just remembers you, then your text is down here. Most of the features in Canva work just like a design program. So you can highlight and delete, you can drag and drop. It is an incredible program. It's really easy to use. I'm going to zoom in here just so I can see a little bit closer. Okay, so to modify this thing, you are going to want to upload your logos. Um, if you do not have the brand kit already filled out, you will probably just need to um, upload your photos here. So I went ahead and got these all organized ahead of time so i'm gonna upload our logos just as images and just drag and drop make it really easy and these are png so they have um, a transparent backdrop so they're not showing up very good on here all right then we'll just drag and drop it into the logo space so since I have um, a few different logo versions, I'm going to go ahead and just make more room here, like move these along. This is our main logo, but we do allow a couple of other uses for our logo. All 
Okay, there we go. So if you go to folders, then you go to logos is there, and then your logos will pop up. So go. Okay, then we've got our color story here. So you're going to want to upload um, your color swatches. Um, I already do know my hex codes. I don't, if you guys don't know them, um, then you're going to probably want to figure those out. And how you figure that out is to go to, if you go to Google and just type in um, hex code color picker. And then you can find your colors here, that load. Okay, so you can find your colors here. So right here um, would be the hues, and then um, you can adjust here, and then it will tell you what your hex code is and what your CMYK is, so that's pretty cool. Um, you might want to take note of your CMYK as well, um, just in case you ever need to uh, tell a printer they will want the CMYK um, formula in order to make sure that they're getting the right color for you. Um, but for web, hex codes are pretty much what you need. So that is how you can figure those out. I'm gonna go back here since I know mine. I am going to, so you highlight the, the area that you wanna change the color, then go up to the little color thing here, go to new color, and then you can enter your hex code here. So these are the main colors that we use for our brand. Even though we do have a very colorful brand, if we are ever doing a um, like a brand shoot or anything, we usually try to keep our wardrobe to these colors um, and also incorporate some denim, black and white, grays. Um, but we overall, we kind of like this warm, neutral color palette because it goes really well with colors of our, uh, with the colors in our work of our actual photography. So, okay, then you just highlight this text. Okay. So we've got all of our color stories there. If you decide that you'd like to do CMYK, you can basically just add another text box right below it and um, enter in the CMYK formula. Okay, so for our design elements here, so I have those already exported out. Let me desktop here, just because I knew I was going to be doing this. So I just have some kind of general elements that we allow when we are designing. Um, since we are actually graphic designers, we have some leniency here. We know what works and doesn't work, but these are some general kind of um, shapes and uh, types of graphics that we allow um, in our designs. I'm gonna change the order of this one because I'm picky. So I just have some kind of general like black and white patterns. Um, we have these like kind of fun uh, shape elements, the circle kind of imperfect circle, circles and squiggles. Um, and then we have actually like a icon from our website um, about working with us. So that's got a little bit of text in it too. Um, and then this background that we've been using a lot lately. Okay, so with grid goals, this is what I like to use for like photo inspiration. If you're not like us and you don't have um, a lot of brand photos to choose from, then you can um, just pull some inspiration photos from Pinterest. I think that works just as well, just um, to, you know, kind of open up the idea of what do I want? Like what kind of overall look and feel? Like what kinds of tones do I want? What kind of editing do I like? What kind of colors do I like to, um, you know, to interact with each other? So um, I have just some, images from one of our branch or a few of our branch shoots here and I'm going to use these maybe when they're all loaded here 
Okay, so I'm just gonna just kind of plop them in and see what I like. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of to get the overall vibe of kind of what we do and our team. I got one of me shooting because we are photographers. Lots of branding stuff, visual brand. And I just kind of have this one, this is just inspiration. I kind of liked um, the feeling of it. I might not use it. Me teaching on camera. Here's kind of an older photo of us. We'll do that over there. I'm kind of picky as far as the the placement of stuff. It's like I usually like it to be like have some kind of pattern, like people, people, places, people, places, or people, thing, people, thing, object. I like like a variation of like white space. That feels pretty good. Okay, then over here we have um, our different fonts that are allowed. So these might be fonts that are in your logo. They might be can, just fonts that are allowed like on your website. Um, it might be both. So um, go ahead and type in the font name. Actually sample the font. If you do not have this premium feature to actually import your fonts, you can replace this with a image and just place a screenshot just so there's um, some kind of uh, reference to your fonts, um, and then you won't have to subscribe to this feature. We almost always just use Encarpata in caps, so I'm going to change this to uppercase. And same with Brandon. And this is pretty basic. So if you guys want to um, to add more, you can always make more space. You can make the document larger, whatever you need to do. That looks pretty nice. Okay, and Santorini we only use sometimes just kind of for accents or if we ever want to do like signature. Okay, so tone words, and these would go back to um, a pre our previous lessons about um, just different types of descriptive words that describe your brand, like the way that you would describe your brand voice. So you can just put adjecti ad adjectives here that describe you. Um, for ampersand, we are fun, we are, um, let's say, professional, but not in the way that you would think, like, <laughs> that we know what we're talking about. We're professionals in, experts in our field. Okay, but Scrappy is the last one because we are never too good to get Scrappy. Okay, so our mission statement here, we can kind of customize this as we go. I'm just going to kind of type something quick. So at Ampersand Studios, we help small businesses or small business owners buy... We provide content, so whether or not we're teaching them how to do it themselves or if we are doing it for them, by or creating contents so they can, we always say, so they can get back to the reason they started their business in the first place.
that's kind of our little spiel because most business owners, small business owners don't get into business thinking that like, oh, I'm so excited to do my own advertising and my own photography and my own merchandising and my own taxes, you know, and so we feel like we can be that that uh, resource for them to either do it for them or to teach them how to do it um, in a more streamlined and intentional, easy way. So um, we love to help small businesses in that way. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. Um, at the bottom, you can just add your websites. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this second page because we didn't use that. So if we wanted to get um, more in detail, then we could do that. And now this is all done. We can download it. Um, you don't want a transparent backdrop. Uh, I would probably download this as a PDF. It is an eight and a half by 11 document, so you can go ahead and print it. You can share it with whoever you want. I would probably download it as a PDF and as a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a JPEG. We'll go ahead and do 100% quality just because there's text. Usually 80% is okay, but okay. And then you just export like that and it's saves out your JPEG for you. Isn't that amazing? And then it just went right into my downloads and I show, can show it in my finder. And here it is. There you go, guys. Now I have an awesome little document that I can send to um, a graphic designer that's maybe creating some, docu some uh, assets for me. I can use it for my entire team so they can know, um, you know what logos are acceptable and different fonts. They have the codes ready to go. Anybody managing my Instagram for me or helping me out with that can know just the overall look and feel that we want for our Instagram grid goals. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys love this exercise. As I said, if you want to get more in detail, you can go on pages and pages and pages and include written notes. You can also include ways that you do not want your logo used um, or any unacceptable uh, examples of ways to use your brand. So, um, but this is a nice, really basic way to get started with a brand board. I hope that you guys love this lesson.